today in the Daily Dose. The Statue of Liberty. Nearing the end of the American Civil War, French historian Edouard de Laboulaye proposed that as a gesture of friendship, the French in the United States should build a statue in honor of the centennial of the Declaration of Independence, as well as a celebration of America's success in building an enduring democracy. The French part of the project was awarded to sculptor Frédéric Bartholdi, who built the statue's copper skin, while Alexandre Gustave Eiffel, of Eiffel Tower fame, was brought on board to build a skeleton out of iron pylon and steel, in such a manner that allowed Bartoli's copper skin to move independently in the high winds that frequent New York Harbor. While statue construction went on in France, Newspaperman Joseph Pulitzer used his paper The World to raise funds for the pedestal, along with other funds previously raised through contests, benefits, and exhibitions. Designed by American architect Richard Morris Hunt, the pedestal was built on Bedloe's Island off the southern tip of Manhattan, and when Bartholdi completed the statue in 1885, he and his crew disassembled the statue into 200 crates and shipped it to the States aboard the French frigate Isère. Once it arrived in 1886, workers assembled the statue atop her pedestal, and on October 28th of that same year, President Grover Cleveland dedicated the statue before a gathering of several thousand spectators. After the U.S. government opened Ellis Island in 1892, the Statue of Liberty greeted some 12 million immigrants who entered through New York Harbor, which saw 10,000 people a day during its peak years of immigration. In 1924, Congress declared the Statue of Liberty a national monument, which was transferred to the National Park Service in 1933. In 1956, Bedloe's Island was renamed Liberty Island, while more than a decade after the closure of Ellis Island, the immigration port in Liberty Island became part of the Statue of Liberty National Monument, making Lady Liberty one of the most recognized landmarks in the world. And there you have it, the Statue of Liberty, today in the Daily Dose. If you like learning something new every day, subscribe to the Daily Dose on YouTube or sign up for emails at dailydosenow.com.